Okay, hey everybody, my name is Jerry. I am from Wild Eye, but this is not Morning Coffee. I've changed things up a little bit. Uh, Morning Coffee started off, as most of you will know, well, some of you might know if you watched it, as an idea where I sit down in the morning with a cup of coffee and hence Morning Coffee, and we just talk about things, right? It's kind of evolved, it's changed, and towards the end of that series, I was never really drinking coffee at the same time, or it was in the morning. I started doing some stuff from Chicago, Reykjavik, and I thought it's time to just change it up. So Morning Coffee wrapped up on 200 episodes. Can't believe it, it's quite strange. But thank you for watching, that was amazing. So on these new videos, I am just gonna take it as it comes. Uh, sometimes tutorials, sometimes talking about life, sometimes a rant, sometimes funny, whatever. Vlog style stuff when I travel. So that's the idea with all of this. But I thought for the first one, I need to do this. Because, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start with this. This is the real me. This is Jerry, right? There's a guy out there that has now for the last three or so years, maybe more, been impersonating me online. To the extent where I started getting messages over this last weekend of people wanting to kill themselves because they think I am the person that's been fucking them around. Yes. So, let me take you back. There's a podcast episode on the Wild Eye podcast in which called Impersonating Jerry and Wild Eye. And this guy, I'll put the link in here not to rehash, but he, when I was on TikTok, he started following me. I didn't know this at the time. And he would screen record me doing what I do. At the time, it would be going on safari, playing with my dog on a plane, like I used to do Instagram stories. And he would save all these things and he would then create profiles on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and post these videos as if he's me. The cover photo would be a picture of me, right? I'm looking at these things on my, on my computer here, what people have been sending me. And he would then engage with people as if it's a safari, he would start flirting with these women, and he would try all via text messages and stuff, and he would then basically extort money from them up to $55,000 for one woman that I heard of this weekend. Um, I know of 5,000 and of 7,000 and then more, right? So over the last while, this idiot must be at it again because like I said, I get a couple of emails and it's like, hey, I want you to know that someone's ripping you off because obviously somewhere along he fucks up and people get onto him. So one lady, I'm not gonna use names here, but she emailed me and said, listen, she works in the bank and when he, me, sent her a check to cash so that he, can, me, I can get the cash from her, and she works in the bank, she's like, ooh, something's wrong. She eventually got hold of me, and she's now sending me conversations with him, pretending to be me, and it is fucking insanity. It is insanity what this guy is doing. So, I often get messages on Instagram, on Facebook, even to my phone over the weekend, and it basically starts off with, fuck you, you piece of shit, you've ruined my life. And now this last weekend, someone wants to kill themselves because once they discovered that this guy is not real, right, he then manipulates them and makes them believe that I'm in it with them. So over the, over the last few years, since I put that podcast out and since I, I heard of this starting, the, the idea was I, he's blocked me on everything, right? And he's blocked me on everything, and none of the new content, funny enough, is going out. Funny that. It's all old stuff from TikTok and Instagram stories when I was traveling a lot, because that sells better from his point of view. So I would then ask people to block and report fake profiles of me. And obviously that worked, because this one particular lady, she then got, and take my hat off, they could do more, but Meta, the Facebook group, they would then, if, if people started engaging with this fake profile, my picture, my videos, they would message them and say, hey, you might be engaging with a fake platform or a fake personality. This is the person who it could be. With my official Facebook um, and Instagram handle, they would find me, they would go back to him and say, hey, listen, who's this? Oh no, that's one of my profiles. Or he then says, no, we're working together in this. So unequivocally, go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Yeah, if you watch this. The wheel is turning, my friend. There's a lot of stuff coming in. But what gets me is I am made to feel bad. So this one lady then comes, and this is how bad the level of manipulation that this guy is doing is. 
I get told from this lady, and the message just goes on and on and on and on, right? It starts with an attack. The message starts with an attack, you piece of shit. I thought you loved me. You made me quit my work. I've paid you all this money. And then I get told, after I make, I make the point, that this is not me. This is not me. You didn't fall in love with me. You didn't send me money. I've never fucking spoken to you. But I then get told, I then get told by some of these people that I should have been better. I should have on TikTok said there's someone who's doing this. I should have shared more about my home life and my work life because then they would have known. No, you wouldn't have known because you weren't following me. You were following fake accounts. There's no point in me sharing that anyway because you wouldn't have seen it. But I'm, there's nothing I can do here. There's nothing I can do to stop this piece of shit from doing what he's doing. But I need to put something out here because I'm getting attacked on email, on message. It started on my phone now. They're starting sending messages on the phone. And I mean, I'm just looking through here. And the names that those guys used, Wyatt Macho was one, Philip Wesser was another. I've got a whole list here. Then at the end, it, I get told how this one particular woman, I don't trust South Africans anymore. Uh, no offense, but piss off. You've only met one, which is me. And I've done nothing to wrong you. I've done nothing to wrong you except try and put valuable content out. This woman said to me, no, she's going to cancel her African safari because of me. Hey, honey, you're spiting yourself there. The, dis the, the level of manipulation that this guy is capable of is fucking insanity. One more time. Because even though when people start realizing that they might be conned here, he still manages to manipulate them to the point where when I was in Iceland a couple of years ago, I was in quarantine for five days and I did a bunch of lives because I had to keep myself sane. And one thing was I did a walk for the, of the room. This is my room. This is where I sleep. Da, 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 da. He recorded all of that shit. And when these women want to then FaceTime or Zoom with me, him, he only does it on Google Hangout, by the way, he would play those things to them and they think it's a live call. So please be careful, goodness gracious. If there's one way of communication, wake up, wake up. He recently, one of the ladies who, and maybe this, you piece of shit, if you're watching this, it's quite a few of the people that you're talking to who knows what's up, and they're playing you, just saying, so good luck. This woman said to me, she, and she sent me all the conversations, or many of the conversations with him, that they think is with me, right? And in one step, I'm going through these screenshots over the weekend, and now my sister, who used to work with us here at Wild Eye, John, her child at the time, this is about last year, so he was about five or six, this guy went onto her feed. He pulled images of her child and used it with these women saying that that's my kid. And then he's, he needs to go to school, and it is absolutely insane yet yet this i'm getting messages here saying how i'm supposed to conduct myself differently so that i don't hurt other people he's then also and this this is just a mind fuck how people don't ah is he convinces them that when they find my real profiles right that i'm impersonating him okay let's just look at the real stuff here I've, on Instagram, I've got 80,000 followers. On Facebook, something like 15 or 16,000. And they're both verified. There's a blue tick mark next to it. Same on Twitter. There's a blue tick mark next to it, which means it's verified, right? He has, on some of his profiles that I've seen, like 479 followers. Yet, he's able to convince these people that I am impersonating him. I get blamed for making money off my business while I am my coaching because... How can I make business when I know that's happening and that they're losing money by giving money to the false me? This is fucking insane. Um, wow. It's, it's literally wow. And then the last, or even after doing all of these things, I get sent pictures here of, here's another macho at 2735. Here's another one. Exit 57. All these, Exit 57. Mr. Wonderly, based in Africa. My picture, match it. there's another one. It's insane, right? Yet, 
at the end of this, right, I get sent my own videos that I posted online, which he recorded and he's used. Some of Instagram, some of Facebook, some of TikTok. I haven't been on TikTok in a year and a half, two years, right? I'm not interested. The privacy on there is a mess and I don't want to go down that cesspool of negativity. I can't do that. But here, she still doesn't believe I'm not involved. This is the last message after me taking time to try and defend myself for something I haven't done. This is insanity. It's absolutely madness, right? So can I ask if you ever on any platform see a profile of me that is not my name, Jerry van der Volt, that is not verified, please report it. Please block it. Please screenshot it and send it to me. There's nothing I can do from here. There's nothing I can do. One lady wants to get cyber police involved, and I think she has. Um, I've got so much evidence, it's frightening. It's frightening. But I am starting to get a little bit tired of being attacked for just doing what I do and just putting content out. Again, this is fucking insanity. Wyatt Macho, Philip Vesser, all these names that you're using. It's bad. It's bad. And the reality for me struck when this woman said to me she's going to kill herself because of what I've been doing. It's not a joke. It's not fucking funny anymore. It's real. Yeah, I'm reading. Th it's, it's madness. So if you do see anything, I'd appreciate it if you can report it or block it. If you're on TikTok and you see wildlife photography stuff, I'm not on TikTok anymore. If you see me on there, it's fake. If you see me on Instagram, if it's not on my profile with a verified blue badge, it's not me, please block it, but report it first because Meta has started sending out those messages. I don't know what else to do, but I can't, and I'm trying to help. And I say to this woman, I'm trying to, what can I do to help you? And then it goes down the lover's quarrel of you said you love me and now you do this. No, I didn't do anything. I've never spoken to you before. It's a problem. It's a big problem. There's nothing I can do. I'm just gathering information. If I see anything, I block it, I report it. I've had communication with this guy. If you listen to the podcast that I did in the past when I still had his email address before he blocked me, where he signed it off as the fake you. He wrote me an email saying the fake you. So he also on a WhatsApp string, I've got all this conversation screenshotted. He said to me, he's not going to stop because I'm very privileged in my life and he's not, so he's gonna keep going. It is sick. It is the worst part of being a human is seeing and experiencing shit like this. So if you do see anything, please let me know. If you see any profile that, I'm not on TikTok. If, I, if you see me there, it's fake. Don't engage with it. Block it, report it. I've tried to deal with TikTok International. I, I fill in forms and from an impersonation point of view, but then it just dies away because they don't really care. But it's real, it's bad. From what I can calculate, just from what I know about, it must be close to $100,000 that this guy has ripped off of people and it's a very specific demographic that he goes for. It's older ladies who are single that like travel, that like wildlife photography, and he exploits that. People have quit their jobs. They've bought airline tickets to go and meet him in Africa. They've sent him money. They've sent him phones. This guy is very good at what he does, but he's not as good as he thinks because the cracks are showing. $100,000 that he's ripped off, that I know of, it's probably more. And now people are contemplating suicide and putting it at my door because I have done something wrong. It's a messed up situation. I'm doing what I can. I am keeping the information. I'm engaging with as many people as possible that mail me, even though when they attack, I've had people that come in and they blast me from a dizzy height. You fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. You've ruined my life. And then they block me on my official account, but then they probably still can't. Anyway, so all I'm saying here is please be careful online. Please be careful of what you look at. Please be careful of who you engage with. Be careful of who you send money to. Just be careful. And if you do see something, please let me know and please report. Yeah. Not really the type of video I wanted to do as my first one with the new intro and the changing and everything, but hey, 
needs to be said. I've got a couple of podcasts to record. I'm going to get back to work. Guys, just please be careful out there. Just please be careful. I'll chat to you next time. Bye.